broadly speaking, the past 75 years have been pretty good for humans. Diseases have been eradicated, food supplies have increased, distant planets have been explored, and, thanks largely to the integrated circuit and the resultant microchip, personal communication has become streamlined to the point of intrusion. Despite this enlightened existence, our lizard brains are still active, eagerly recognizing entities that have resisted change with reptilian resolve. Maybe that's why everyone from toddlers to college co-eds to grizzled ex-military types went all warm and fuzzy when our Jeep Wrangler Sahara 75th Anniversary Edition test vehicle came into view. Universally recognized and instantly identifiable, the Jeep Wrangler remains the poster child for mass-produced automotive simplicity. Note that the British Morgan can't be considered mass-produced by any means and other long-serving off-roaders such as the Mercedes-Benz class and the Toyota Land Cruiser have made acquiescing to the comfort and luxury demands of the public a competitive sport. That said, the current Wrangler has evolved, and a now new 2018 Wrangler is slated to debut in the not-too-distant future. Although we may have cursory knowledge of what luxuries and concessions to the demands of modern life the new Wrangler may bring. We figured now was the time to take a last look at the two-door Angler as we know it. Go here for a look at the current four-door Angler Unlimited. The March of Progress, Jeep Style, a late 2016 model, our 75th anniversary Wrangler Sahara rolled off the line with standard front airbags seat-mounted side airbags or an addition of $495, disc brakes at all four corners, traction control, and electronic stability control. Not too shabby for a dinosaur. Looking a little deeper into the build sheet revealed further indulgences such as air conditioning, cruise control, remote keyless entry, a leather wrapped steering wheel with audio controls, power windows, and power door locks. Lest you begin to think the Wrangler is getting a little soft, let us remind you that despite the accoutrements, its basic formula remains the same. A ladder frame with solid front and rear axles a Dana 30 in front and a Dana 44 in the rear and a utilitarian part-time four-wheel drive system. Torque from the corporate 285 horsepower 3.6 litre Pentester V6 is funneled to a 5-speed automatic transmission, which passes the output to the wheels via a toss speed, shift and fly, four-wheel drive transfer case. A six-speed manual gearbox is standard, the automatic costs an additional $1,350 and also brings hill descent control. Underneath, skid plates protect the transfer case and the fuel tank from sharp obstacles. Just as the purpose driven details of the Jeep's hardware restored our faith in the Wrangler's mission, we scanned down to find the Jeep 75th anniversary package. While it does include a few items that at least allude to genuine off-road activity reinforced rock rails side steps, 17-inch wheels with 24,575 tires, and a trackler clocking rear differential, it's primarily a $4,680 cosmetic and convenience tour de force. Interior upgrades include amber mesh leather and cloth seats heated up front, a 75th anniversary passenger grab handle, the ability to show more stuff in the cluster's information screen, a connectivity group, and a fetching Moroccan sun-colored instrument panel bezel. Exterior enhancements include bronze tone tow hooks two front, one rear, a body color grille, a power dome hood, painted front and rear bumpers, and bronze echo badging. Needless frippore. Further confusing the Wrangler's simplicity factor is the $1,785 dual top group, which includes a rear window defroster and washer whipper for the hard top, which our vehicle did not have fitted during our test, while a headliner is an addition of $495. Finally, the order sheet continued to test our enthusiasm with nickel and dime features that we'd probably never order on a Jeep. Remote start $495, a 6.5-inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation $600, Alpine Premium 9-speaker audio $945, 
and the foolish Fora Wrangler upgraded AC with automatic climate control and a humidity sensor of $395. Pro tip, if you're sticking to the seats, it's hot and humid, so reach over and adjust the climate control accordingly. Better yet, remove the top and doors. One expense that we can wholeheartedly endorse is the limit slip rear differential. Not only does it add a true lock here activated locking rear diff in place of the standard limit slip track lock, but it also swaps out the stock 3.21 to 1 gear set for a 3.73 to 1 ratio front and rear. At $1,500, it's a relative bargain for anyone interested in actually going off-road. All in, this Wrangler rang the register at $44,380. Considering that it's possible to leave the dealership with the Wrangler Willy Sweeler with the 3.73 axles for a sticker price of just over $29,000, buyers will want to think long and hard about their motives for wanting a Wrangler 75th. Behind the wheel, climb behind the wheel and the lizard brain takes over again. The doors shut with the primitive resonance of form following function, the seating position is upright, and suddenly 75 years of progress are reduced to a footnote. Standard tests of straight-line performance reveal a 0 to 60 mph time of 7.5 seconds, not bad, with the quarter mile taking a more languid 15.9 seconds at 85 miles per hour, both measures better than numbers posted by the last 2016 Wrangler and limited by more than a second. If acceleration feels labored, Braking and road holding appear to push the Wrangler to the ragged edge of acceptable limits for a vehicle manufactured in the 21st century. Stopping from 70 miles per hour consume 205 feet, and our test driver reported squilly behavior under braking. Grip maxed out at only 0.69 grams, and the Wrangler felt tippy and cornering. The intervention of the non-defeatable stability control actually was welcome. Highway comfort also is in a class of its own, one that requires you to accept a choppy ride, massive amounts of tire and wind noise, and all the steering precision of a hot air balloon in a hurricane. But from the driver's seat, all of that seems irrelevant. Everything from the tires to the foldable windshields are just tools that help to create a vibe, an experience, a state of mind, and the removable top and doors further enhance the feeling. Unfortunately, most adults can't fritter away their days carelessly four-wheeling across an endless beach in search of cold brace keys and warm tacos. But, thanks to modern technology, they can drive a Wrangler in preparation for the one week a year when they ditch reality and let their lizard brains regain control. Let's hope the next generation Wrangler doesn't overthink things.